and the birds. Like a hundred birds. I don't know what this is going to sound like. Yeah, I don't either. And we've got the... Hey, they don't have a sign that says don't throw rocks at the birds. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently that's allowed. Yeah, we're not allowed to throw rocks on the pond. Or... Yeah, please don't throw rocks or trash. In pond. So, uh, or, or climb on rocks. Yeah. So the question is, by posting that sign, does that stop the people who would do that from not doing it? Or encourage others who probably would never even think about it to do it. Dang, it would be fun. Yeah. Ooh, that's I like never thought about posting that. Posting a no fishing sign. Yeah, don't do this. Oh, there must be fish fun. in there. <laughs> Nobody fishes there, so there must be fish. Because you can't fish there, so that. <laughs> Welcome to Tabletop Coffee with Keith and Chuck. We're trying out a new location this morning. We're trying it out. We're trying it. We probably won't stay here, but we'll see. Really? You don't think it'll work? I don't know. It might. I hope so. I like it. Yeah. It's, it's cozy. I, I think what we'll do is we'll put a um, barrier across here that's about 12 <laughs> feet tall so you can't hear the traffic. And it'll be great because, see, you guys can't see behind us. But there's, there's some car, you, you'll hear it, but you won't be able to see it. But it's really pretty back in this area. It's really nice. It is quite wonderful. Uh, what do you want to talk about? Well, I was thinking that it might be beneficial to learn how to complain without blaming. Oh yeah, we talked. We referenced that. Yeah, we referenced that, that in the dance. In the dance video, yeah. Because uh, the, the C is you've got to be able to give your concern in a way that can be heard. And right. it's not an option to not give it. You have to give it. And usually in a relationship, there's somebody that wants to be able to give their concern. And uh, there's usually somebody that kind of withdraws and becomes inward and doesn't give their concerns. But it's... It's not an option to, to not give your concern. I never complain. When do I complain about you practicing the violin at three in the morning? Or your mess? Your general lack of hygiene or the fact that you steal my clothes? I understand. And in the earlier trainings, John said, uh, everybody in the relationship has to have the right to complain. Right. And I remember I th you saying that. I, yeah, I thought that was always kind of a harsh word. Mm -hmm. So I always said, you know, hey, give your concerns in a way that can be heard. But in the later trainings, he talks about you must complain, but you must complain without blame. Hmm. And then he goes into elaborating about the elements of a good complaint. Okay. So how does that work? Yeah, what you've got to do is you've got to make requests of the other person. It brings in this whole concept of request making. Okay. Request making makes good things come and makes bad things go away. Okay. Request making makes good things come and makes bad things go away. And if you and I are going to have our needs met in this life, then we've got to be really good request makers of the other person because they can't read your mind and get it right unless you verbalize what it is that you're wanting them to do. You know what's difficult about that? What's that? Is assumptions is going through the process and thinking, well, I really would like to request this, but I know what the answer is going to be. Yeah, you really don't know. Yeah, and that's that's a difficult thing. And so I think assumptions work into this as well. It does. And I think that would be a good topic to talk about at some point. Is Absolutely. How to work through that assumptive thinking because I think we all struggle with that as well. Yeah, you can't base your voice use on whether or not you believe the other person will respond well or comply. Right. I have one job in my life and that's to be captain of my ship. Okay. And one of the big jobs there is to believe I have a voice, believe I can use it, and then just use it in a comfortable way. Okay. Whether or not I believe the outcome will be okay. I've got to make my concern be known because uh, you don't have a right to complain for that which you have not asked. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. 
So can you give me an example of that on on how to make a complaint without blaming? Oh, how many do you want? Well, we'll start with one. <laughs> if you want to add some to this, go ahead and write those down in the comments below. <laughs> Absolutely. I'll share some examples from my personal life with my wife Kim. Um, we were we have some friends that were have been really generous with us over the years and given us these club level tickets at, at uh, the football games, right? Which is more about social and food than it is about football. <laughs> Absolutely. And so we would go to these and we would leave, and you know it's kind of bottleneck traffic leaving from a football game, and I, and I know that. Uh, and I, what, I, what I know is is that Kim doesn't like being a passenger in a car in traffic. And so part of my dream, right, okay. which we right. talked about, is to make sure that she's comfortable. Right. So we're leaving. And this was like seven or eight years ago. And Sam, my son, is 21 now. He was 14 at the time. Sitting in the back seat. And Kim's the passenger. And I'm, I'm driving. We're coming around this one particular part of the parking lot and coming up to a traffic light with two red lights. And left goes by Applebee's and then a broken bridge. It was under repair for like 18 months. So bottleneck traffic, but really bottleneck because of the broken well, bridge. Right. Or if you go right, you go back by the stadium. I'm not sure which is the best way. So I, I was thinking out loud and I said, guys, I'm, I'm really not sure which is the best way to go. And Sam says, I think we should go to the right. Okay. And Kim goes, ah, I'm up here every day for carpool. It's slowed to the left, but it moves. It moves. That was what she said. So I have these two competing you know, ideas in my head about what to do. So I just continue to inch forward. And the, light tur the right turns red. So I take it, Sam's way. OK. And I hit all the lights right by the traffic, hit the expressway for like 11 seconds till I have to take <laughs> you know, the exit. And then it's like, it, 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 it. and we're stuck right on top of a train trussle. And it's like eerie, uncomfortable quiet. So I put it in the park. Kim says, next week we go left. Okay. I just reached over and patted her on the thigh. Remember, it's important to receive the influence of the other person. Right. So my job at that point was not to prove how right I was and how wrong she was. Okay. My job is just to receive her influence. And so I okay. said, you know, you're 100% right. It was a really bad call to go right. Now, now, time out. There was no good call to be made here, okay? Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, but, you know, it's not time to argue my rightness. Do I want to be right or do I want relationship? Absolutely. And so I said, you know, you're 100% right. Going to the right was a really bad call. It, the last thing I want is for you to be uncomfortable. So next week we go left. Okay. Hand back on gear shift. She reaches over. I turn back to her. She pats me on the hand. Okay. And we get home, right? Yeah. So next morning rolls around, Sunday morning, we're out early, and for whatever reason, we pull up to a traffic light, and it's uh, uh, backed up early. I'm like, oh. eh. right. so I put it in the park, and my mind drifts back to the night before. <laughs> I'm like, that really sucked. I don't want that to happen again. So, so you get into the left lane. No. <laughs> I need to make a request. Okay. All right. Well, I was just figuring the request was already made. No. No. I haven't made... Because it was a bad situation. Unpleasant. And I don't want the unpleasantness to happen again, so I must use my voice. Okay. So I said, hey, I'd like to make a request. And she says, oh, what's that? And I said, yeah, just that when we're in traffic, if you would say, Chuck, it's super important for me that we go left. Okay. I promise you I'll go left every time. Right. Or if you say, Chuck, it is vital to me. It's super important that we go straight or to the right. I promise you I'll go straight or to the right. Now, I didn't know how that was going to go over, but it's not my job to determine outcome. It's my job to use my voice. Okay. So I used it. And then she says, aw, that's so sweet of you. And I was like, okay. Great response now, to a request. You know, in the seven years since then, I promise you we've had other things in our relationship to work on. But not one time has the issue of traffic ever come up because wow. I made a request about how I would like it to be. Okay, that's uh, fantastic.
another quick great. quick example. Sure. Um, a couple weeks ago, I step out of the shower in the master bathroom bathroom in our house, and I'm going to get dressed. And she says, "Hey, I'd like to make a request." And I said, "What's that?" She says, "Just that when you get out of the shower, um, if you would just open the shower curtain back up, mm. I think it would mold and mildew more slowly." <laughs> okay. A, she says, "I'm going to ask Sam to do that too." Okay. And I said, "Great, I can do that." Perfect. She says, "Thanks." That was it. As opposed to a complaint with blame, she could have said, geez, old Pete's, you and Sam never think of me. All you do is wad the shower curtain back up when you're done. You never open it up. Who do you think I am, the maid? Yeah. That would have been a complaint with blame. That makes but sense, too. She made, a com- she made a complaint by making a request. I like that a lot. It's wonderful. And it makes bad things go away. It makes really good things to come. Uh, boy, what great advice. Yeah, it is. I love that. Yeah. And we'll give that a try. <laughs> okay. How do we do that? Because it's going to rain. <laughs> I don't know. It's raining. Hey, we've got rain coming we've down. We've got to close this out quickly because we're going to get wet. Yes, we are. Uh, anyway, thank you for uh, spending some time with us Absolutely. today on Tabletop Coffee. Um, we covered complaining without blaming. See, it already slipped my mind again. Yeah. Um, learning how to complain actually by making requests right without placing blame on the other person and as you could tell by those examples what a great way to communicate with each other it is it's something anybody can do yeah and not get into an argument and the other person's not doesn't have to comply it's yes no or let me think about it oh yeah so we're going to continue to put out content like this so if you like it go ahead and subscribe and click that bell so you'll be notified with the next video and and what else are we supposed to do like it like it (laughs) thumbs up up. make sure you click that like share it with your friends and uh if you have any requests on your own different things that you want us to talk about that'd be a great put them in the comments down below and um we'll see what we can do to work that up until next time thanks everyone yep